everyone so thanks for coming to my new channel um, if you're new make sure you subscribe up there and if you are a subscriber from my old channel and you followed me here so thank you so much for coming to this new channel um, hopefully this channel will be a lot better and more exciting um, for everybody I have a couple videos already coming up on here um, as I have actually been trying to plan this changeover for a while now. Um, so, because my other channel just wasn't working out. So, I also changed my Twitter and my Facebook. So, I have those. And um, hopefully, by the time you guys see this video, it will already be linked and everything. So, you just got to click on the stuff. Um, if you want to see a tutorial on this look um, with my little side bun right here. Um, just uh, hang on tight. It will be coming up shortly. I've already taped it and everything and it's a really pretty easy to do um, bronzy tutorial um, for our daytime and then I just added a quick darker lip um, for more of a dramatic nighttime look. Actually, I, you wouldn't be going out in a t-shirt either, but um, <laughs> that's just the look that I have right now. So um, right now I am going to do for you a cute little tutorial and how to do these cute little watermelon nails. And those are them. And I will show you how to do that right now. Um, I will just show you really quick what colors I use. You don't have to use the same exact ones. Um, you can use something similar. Anything watermelony color um, would be fine. So these are the ones that I use. Um, just a regular base coat, um, which I don't have it on me right now. Um, and then I used this white simple colors. This gray and this is Highline Green NYC. Um, this is Mandy from Julep. And then these three stripers in black, white, and yellow. And then the last color I just used a little bit of is called Rescue Me, and that is Pure Ice. And it's like a really pretty green color, like a lime green with blue sparkles. All right, so I will show you how to get these watermelon nails right now. So first off, what you want to do is you want to take your white. And I have kind of like a glare from that light over there, so I'll try to get that out of there. Um, take any white color that you have, and what you're going to do is kind of like a French manicure, but um, a little bit higher up. And you can see mine are higher up than a French manicure should be. So you're going to paint your whole nail with this, any color white. Well, not your whole nail, but I mean, you know, the French manicure higher. So that much white. Okay. Or if you want to do your full nail watermelon, that'd be cute too, which I should have done on the accent nail, so that would have looked cute. Um, so yeah. So whatever you're going to do the watermelon, paint the whole thing white first. Um... Then next, you're going to take your green, and what you're going to do is, I'll show you on a tip, because my I already did my nails, so, um, so there's a nail tip, and I don't know if you can see, it's white, and then the very bottom, I painted green with um, NYC green, the dark green, okay, so then next, you're going to take your watermelon pink color, which I am using Mandy from Julep. And it's hard to do, like, holding everything. <laughs> so the rest of the nail, the rest of that white color, you're going to cover with this. Right up next to that green. Don't worry about the white line yet, um, because we'll do that after with a striper. And if this isn't opaque enough, you can do two coats, which I did on my nails. And you're going to let that dry. And it should look like that. Okay. And if you can't get like right up to that green color, don't worry about it. If it's like a little bit of white showing, that's fine. But not too much. So we're going to let that dry for a minute. 
And then you could take, you don't have to use a color like this. I just use this because I like the sparkles in it. And I just lightly dabbed it on the grain um, here and there just to make it like a little sparkle on the green. Um, but it didn't really work the way I wanted it to, but that's all right. I'll just use it. So just dab it here and there because what you're going to do is you're going to take that um, yellow striper and make dots. So take your yellow striper and you're just going to make little um, dots on that green and let it dry for a minute. So you can see it has, hold on, I'll hold my hand up in a minute so it could focus. So you see the yellow dots? So why it's still tacky, you're just going to take your finger and just smush it in all the way across and like, kind of like spread the yellow so they're not like uniform dots. So they look kind of like a watermelon. You know how watermelons have those crazy lines on them? And kind of smush that green all together. There. So now you can see it's not really uniform dots anymore. Okay. So then you're going to take that, um, that white striper and you're very carefully going to make a really thin line, white line, between the between the green and the red like really tiny there and it'll look like that okay so you're gonna let that all dry And then you're going to take your black striper. And what you're going to do is you're kind of, you're not going to make like dots, like round circle dots because seeds aren't round. You're going to like just lay the brush like right on top. Oh, and I think it's so much up on there. Make sure you have like any excess that drips down to get off because you will have drips everywhere. So what you're going to do is you're just going to very carefully, I'm going to try to do this, show you guys this. You're just going to put the brush right down so it makes kind of like a teardrop. That one's kind of big, but you get the idea. And just make them everywhere. Don't make them uniformed. Just dab the brush everywhere. And you will have little tiny seeds that are so cute and there you have your watermelon nails isn't it cute and then just finish with a top coat and you're all set and you will have your cute little watermelon nails for summer so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.